Hello and welcome to One Lap. Today, as we do with every car, we are putting around something special, and that is this, the Polestar 1. This is the Polestar 1. It's a 619 horsepower, 700 plus pound-feet of torque, Super Sports GT by Geely Group. It is not a Volvo, even though it looks like a Volvo. It is a Polestar, and it's pretty cool. It's $150,000 of pure Swedish class. So let's see how it does ripping around the track. And now you join us at the start line in the Polestar 1. This is such a cool car, I absolutely love it. So let's get everything set up. Just gonna inch my seat forward for a more aggressive driving seating position. Uh, <laughs> let's go ESC sport mode for sure. There's no way to fully disable traction control. Interestingly though, and the same with all Volvo products, when the brakes get really hot, it shuts off ESP completely. We've seen this in the V60 Polestar uh, Volvo Polestar wagon cool plug-in hybrid thing that we did where when the brakes get hot it just shuts off traction control and then they cool down and it turns it back on so you constantly have to keep pressing ESC sport mode this car is no exception to that we're gonna dial it up into power mode for quote-unquote sporty driving and uh, there's no launch control here but it's uh, again plenty of power we have the battery charged exactly to 50%, so it's still capable of outputting full power. I'm going to run the car in B mode, which will allow me to lock it in manual transmission. It still will upshift at the red line, but it will be able for me to downshift when needed. So let's get everything set up, get ready for a launch. We're going to brake boost it. Once it's brake boosted, there's no physical launch control, but it will uh, hit second and third gear more aggressively than just flooring it off the line. Really nice stuff. So we have everything set up how we want it, and now we're ready to go. We're gonna go full brake, floor it, torque it over, and rock it off. And go! Hard launch. Oh. And one, two, shift, the two, three, cracks off 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour, 100. Damn, this thing is fast. Digging into the brakes pretty hard. Let's get it into the corner. Now the Polestar has adjustable Olean suspension, and right now it is not set to the fullest setting. They are set somewhere in the middle, but it still handles pretty nicely. liftoff oversteery, uh, very little understeer here. This is the most dynamic Geely Group product that I have driven. It is really quite nicely balanced. Look at that thing, carve these corners. I'm gonna curve it just a little bit, very nice. Into the corner, 67 miles an hour or so. Wow, it's so nicely balanced. <laughs> I love it. And you know what? The engine sounds pretty good as well. Uh, this, these four cylinders, it's the same turbocharged and supercharged engine they put in everything. But it makes a really fruity noise at high speed, which is nice. Digging it in. We're going to avoid the tractor. Back to wide open power. Through the back straight. We're going to lift just a little bit because it is pretty fast. Back to full power. so dynamic it's not meant to be a track car but look at this thing carve out the track it is the best handling one of these i've ever driven wide open down the straight wow this thing's cracking off the shifts deploying all of its 619 horsepower and it's fast 118 past the start finish and that's a lap in the Polestar 1. 
That is impressive. What's impressive is they've been able to take a car that's basically built on Volvo's SPA platform, add a bunch of really cool carbon fiber reinforced polymer to the body, make it special, make it interesting, and then make it perform like this because this is such a departure from other cars on this same chassis like V60 Polestar was fun but this is way more oversteer even with those big 295 section rear tires it's a dynamic car and I absolutely love it first off it's gorgeous sound systems pretty good it's a great GT car and it's really a modern muscle car. I think Polestar may have done muscle cars better than the Americans right here. I would say the only downside is the noise of the four cylinder, but the capability you just cannot deny. Amazing job to the Polestar team on this car, especially to the chassis guys. And now let's take a look back and reveal the lap time. The Polestar one is one hell of a fast car. You can see this thing launch off the line super hard, the electric motor pushing at the rear, the combustion engine pulling at the front, all together making 600 horsepower. This thing is a rocket ship. It's gotta be one of the best looking cars we've ever had around the track in one lap, and certainly one of the most aggressive setups from the factory with those Olean's dampers that are fully adjustable. This is a car that pulls at my heartstrings. Mark my words, I will own a Polestar 1 someday in the not so distant future. Anyway, you're probably here for the lap time and the lap time board, of course, is in the description below. So if you wanna see how this fares to other cars, check out that board. And if you don't wanna check out that board, this thing is freaking fast. One minute 46 around our lap puts it as one of the fastest cars we've tested in the one lap series. This thing is a machine. I love it. Hope you guys did too, and we'll see you on the next episode.